Let's say you used to call this the Pasta Palace, and y'all changed it from the Pasta Palace to what, what was the Dean Vikers for the first one? Then the Pasta Palace, now it's Cafe Sheila. Wow. Hey, Mr. Ms. Flash, I just wonder, why do you think that uh, the white man, Christian Christians, why do you think they're trying to change history so much? Trying to rewrite history. Yeah, I'm gonna want another cold one, man. Sir, ma'am, sir, sir, ma'am. It's really nice. I'm just wondering why they spend so much time trying to rewrite the history, his story. The Christians trying to write the Jews out of the Bible. In their Bibles, uh, they have put themselves as the chosen people. And now, somehow, they've got into the story that the Jews are not the chosen people, but they are. But you understand Anglo-Saxon, if it were not for the Jew, you would have no gospel, period. I can't say that. What are you talking about? The gospel that saves came from the Jew. The gospel that saves came from, you say, well, didn't it come from God? Yes, it came from God, but down here in the earth, he made a covenant through and with the Jewish nation, not the Anglo-Saxon nation, not the European nation, not the Greek nation, not the Persian nation, certainly not with America. Not this little bitch is out of control. Kick God out of everything and get mad because God don't show up here at 9 11. You wonder where God Where was God when 9 11 happened? He was the same place he was. Y'all kick him out so he felt like he needed to show up tonight. <laughs> I know that. I mean, they're trying to write themselves as God's chosen people. Let me help you. Have you ever met God? Well, God is Jesus. Jesus is God. That's simple enough. Jesus called the Christ in English, Yeshua HaMashiach, or Yeshua HaMashiach in Hebrew. That's his native tongue. When he was here, he spoke. He, there was actually a person that lived here named Jesus called the Christ. They called him Jesus called the Christ. He is the son of the living God. He's divine, not a created being as you Christians and y'all's uh, Christianity teachings hold. Y'all say that he's the son of God, but you say that he's created being like we are, like human beings are. No, no, that is of Satan. That is straight from the pits of hell. That is straight from the sepulcher. That's straight from the kingdom of darkness. That's all Cain seed talking, trying to rewrite and put. It's of the devil. It's of Satan for the Anglo-Saxon to try to write the Jews out as God's chosen people and put themselves there. If it were not for the Jew, if it were not for that lineage, there would be no gospel of the kingdom of heaven. I mean, you couldn't pervert it and call it the gospel of Jesus Christ and, and have to but accept Jesus as your personal savior. Jesus Christ ain't interested in being your personal savior. He's the Lord. You're going to do what he says or you're not going to get what he promises. It's just that simple. Are you the redeemed? If you're the redeemed, I guarantee you, you don't want to be no Christian. I didn't even know you could be redeemed, Mr. And Ms. Fletcher. Good job. You don't hear it in the churches. In churches, they're talking about uh, what, making you a Christian. Oh, well, that ain't going to get you saved. I would rather be redeemed. My soul has been washed in the blood of the Lamb, the spotless Lamb, the sinless Lamb. Jesus called the Christ. 
My blood has been washed clean. My soul has been washed clean from sin by his shed blood. Has your soul been washed clean by his shed blood? If 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 it has, you'll receive that transformation of spirit that I'm getting every day because I deny myself, take up my cross every day. Say, except you deny yourself, take up your cross daily and follow me. You can't be my disciple. Those, the redeemed obey God. The redeemed don't question God. We have questions, but we don't question God. The redeemed have God's character operating in them. The redeemed have the mind of Christ operating in them. The redeemed have the authority of Christ operating through them because the way we glorify the Father on the earth so that we can be glorified in heaven is by operating under his judicial presence on the earth. That's what it means by having the presence of the Lord in my home. Having the presence of the Lord in my home means that his laws govern my home, not the United States. I work within the system that the United States provides and be a law-abiding citizen. But if at any given time, their laws contradict with God's law, then I turn my back. On the United States of America, and if you call yourself to redeem, that's what you better be doing. That is, uh, because, see, no man can have two masters. You'll hold to the one and hate the other. Now, who's your master, church? Because the Christian church, uh, you know, when COVID-19 hit, man, they tucked tail and ran like a bunch of bitches. Because the 501c3 tax exempt status, that's their God. He, the one time they should have been having prayer sessions and city ride, citywide prayer sessions and all night shut ins. The one time they should have been having all of that. And what does the Christian army do when COVID 19 pops up? They run. Yeah, I say y'all run with your tails between your legs like bitches. They had a citywide prayer meeting scheduled in the deadly city, which is where I live. And when I went down there for the prayer meeting, <laughs> No one showed up to pray. It's no wonder. And you think God is going to rapture an army like that that won't even fight? Y'all right here honoring government mandates. Hey, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, they didn't honor any government uh, mandates, neither did Daniel. We're supposed to follow the example of Jesus Christ. Live and work within the system, but if the system ever tries to screw you, we have an escape, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We're not fleshly, not con carne, not meaty, not dead corpus delecti. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold and casting down vain imagination like Christianity <laughs> and every high thing like Christian rapture, trinity that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. The trinity and the rapture are both false doctrines. Don't practice them. Listen to the Lord. He is God. Father, if you want to come to Father, it must come through Jesus Christ. Why are you trying to rewrite history? Okay, time for me to give me another cold one. Because I ain't no guess. Y'all are really doing a great job. Can't face it. A cold one coming. <laughs> it's the, the disciple of Christ, Christ himself, himself, you're still here. You still, still want, want that cold one? You want your usual demonstra? Will you be joining us for dinner with your queen? Good. Cold one coming right up. Why don't you come and check out the new game room?
Okay. Praise the Lord. What a. What a nice game. Oh, I just asked for a cold. What a nice chest of chips. Thank you very much. Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher, my queen, of, and I've talked it over. We're going to have a late dinner, so we'll probably come back. Sure, be late. You're just wondering why the whites in the Christian church and Christianity have tried to rewrite history so much. The three, I would say the three main myths that Christians put out about Jesus Christ. First of all, they put out that Jesus Christ represents Christian. Wrong. Jesus Christ represents the redeemed. That's the first and foremost. So if you're redeemed, you don't want to be a Christian. And if you're red, yellow, black, or brown, you're not permitted to be a Christian. <laughs> Even the Christians are not permitted to be Christians. Christian and Christianity, you know, you just lost. But that's probably the main myth. Second was that, you know, Jesus represents Christianity and they try to make everybody in the first century a Christian or all a Christian. You got all Christians. No, that's all nonsense, man. So that's probably the first biggest myth. That Jesus Christ did not come to represent Christian or to make you a Christian. When you receive him as your Lord, you are one of his redeemers. It's proof positive. Because you can't even call Jesus. Christ Lord unless the Father draw you. You can't come to the Father unless it's through the Son. Is that right? All right. Our glory. You can. Second thing is, is that they try to be relevant to the world. The world doesn't want to hear the gospel message. They're not even interested in that. And thirdly, I think probably one of the biggest myths is that um, this rapture and the Trinity nonsense, you know. And then they try to berate him by belittling his Jewish heritage, by trying to put themselves in as chosen people. When the Lord plainly promised that there would always be a king on the throne of David, in spite of all that David did. So, hey, if you're the redeemed, God's looking for you. Stand still long enough to hear. Hey, all right. Amen. Not bad. What kind of chips are these? Oh, they're not greasy. They're a nice big chip. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks for the gesture. My queen and I'll be back later on for that. You can't rewrite history, Christians. His story, the story of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus called the Christ. Worship him. Worship creator. Worship the creator of the creation. Not, I'll put the creation over the creator. Like the Bible. <laughs> you worship the Bible. Nonsense. Thanks for everything, Cafe Sila. Nice place.